Tonight's episode of To Catch a Predator is sponsored in part by NAMBLA, the North American Manboy Love Association. When millions of people stand up and fight, they win. You all right? My name is Velas. I like their petite body because it, it's just so firm. <laughs> also, I like their voice. I like their high-pitched voice. I think it's really attractive. That's what draws my attention to them. I mean, it, it's so cute. I like anthropomorphic females. Yes, I love anthropomorphic females. Furries, I mean, something about furries is just... Earlier this month, Feminist Frequency hosted an impromptu live stream, coincidentally at the same time when Milo Yiannopoulos was hosting a stream called Big Milo. Users started flooding the Twitch chat with references to Milo's stream. The chat quickly switched to subscriber-only mode, and one by one they all started getting banned by a moderator who goes by the username Valis77. Hey, uh, guess who Anita Sarkeesian has as a mod on Twitch? <laughs> oh God, no, 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 you're, you're gonna love this. A convicted pedophile. What? what? Who is it? What? Yeah. Apparently Valis is a mod on her uh, Twitch stream. Okay, so this Feminist Frequency moderator happens to have the same username as a registered sex offender. So what? You can't prove that it's the same person. Oh... Looks like Vallis himself proved that he's the same person by posting a picture of himself flicking everyone off after the stream. The same Twitter account also tweeted at Anita Sarkeesian and posted a link to the stream when it began. On top of that, Feminist Frequency also used his footage for Tropes vs. Women. The trope became so prevalent that it would be nearly impossible to mention them all. First person shooters. First person shooters. Vallis appeared in multiple sex offender lists. There's also a Yahoo Answers post from four years ago asking about him. There's even video footage of his trial. Uh, in this case, Mr. Redman was convicted in 2001 and sentenced in early 2002 for a conviction of uh, indecent solicitation of a child. Is that there's a high degree of recidivism and danger posed by people who have certain qualifying uh, sex crime convictions. If the person doesn't register, if they don't tell the sheriff where they're living, if they don't tell them that they're in the county, that information is not available to law enforcement should they need to conduct an investigation. So now that we know Feminist Frequency has been working with a convicted sex offender, uh, who exactly is this person? I have a gray hair. Yes, Valis 77 is officially an old man. 37 years old. And, uh, yeah. Princess Peach has large, firm breast in Smash 4. Peach is my first video game character I fell in love with ever since I was very young. No princess on Earth looks so young, mature, lovely, smart, beautiful, polite, athletic, brave, strong, graceful, and sweet as can be. And yes, even when she's angry, she looks even more lovely. She's tall frame, an hourglass figure, and rosy complexion. I mean, who doesn't want Peach as a girlfriend that's a perfect example of come and rescue me type, or let alone marry her? Her name itself is suggestively erotic. Her design is so stunning, making her one of the most perfect game female characters of all time. Can they do better than this? Let's hope so, because like every other fans, she is my ideal wife. In fact, she is my soulmate. Tagged Princess Peach, Peach, Princess Peach, Breast, Large Breast, Boobs, Boob, Sexy, Wife, Waifu. Now I know why Feminist Frequency works with this guy. Vallis is quite the video game pop culture critic. He also has a YouTube channel which hosts a variety of content. There's his Let's Play videos. Hey everybody, this is Vallis77. Thank you all for tuning in. As you can see, there's um, Sarah's firm breast and there's her ass. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's um, let's do some battling. Oh my goodness, that is so sexy. I got a fucking erection just by watching that. Other than she is a hot piece of ass. There's also Let's Eat videos where you can watch Vallis eat food over commentary. 
now I see why you viewers love this this series. Because watching me eat makes it's like wow, it's just that delicious. You know, I could be doing anything with my life right now. I could be working on that Undertale video review that will never get done. But no, I'm just going to sit here and watch this convicted pedophile eat chicken wings because he uploaded it for the whole world to see. His newer videos are even in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so you can see every detail of this guy eating Chinese food. Pocahontas is hot, though. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely fuck her. Mm. Mm because I'm a slothful, introverted sociopath. <laughs> he also has general vlog posts. I'm sorry guys, I'm not talking accurately. I'm watching Sophia the First. It's one of my favorite Disney shows. She is so fucking beautiful. Sophia the First. No, she is so fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so people should Wikipedia me on this one. But I think Dramatica actually came <laughs> and took that piece, but they are inaccurate with everything they say. He also has video footage of what looks like his friend's underage daughter. Why are you taping this? <laughs> this is funny, this is funny. Wow, you know, is that even legal? I, I don't know. Someone should look into that. Then there's his Let's Travel videos, where you can watch Valis get nervous as he bikes around elementary schools. And there's, uh, I'm guessing that's Garfield Elementary? Well, anyways, I better leave this area, because huh? I guess I'm not allowed to build school grounds. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Garfield Elementary. Okay, I'm out of the school zone, so <laughs> I got away with murder and breaking the law. Oh no, I'm not allowed no school grounds. I can't go there. And I haven't even gotten into this guy's Google Plus account. Hmm, okay. Hmm, okay. Whoa! What the fuck? Valis also seems to have some very interesting YouTube likes. Okay, so I don't want to show the video that Valis liked, but just know that it's of an underage girl getting a massage. He also left a comment on the video saying, that delicious ass. Okay, so now that you've seen that, remember this guy is a moderator for Anita Sarkeesian's Twitch TV channel. If an underage user happens to put their private information in their profile and they watch Anita stream while Valis is the mod, now do you see why I'm concerned about this? I'm sure at this point most of you are wondering, how did Valis become a moderator for Feminist Frequency? And the answer is, I have absolutely no idea. You should reach out to Feminist Frequency and ask whether or not Valis is still a moderator for their channel. You should also ask them what will they do to make sure something like this doesn't happen again in the future. Maybe the folks working there should take some time to address the kind of people that associate with the Feminist Frequency brand. Take for example this guy, Hannibal the Victor. He's one of Anita Sarkeesian's biggest fans. Complain bitterly about the fact that she got all this money and there's been no appreciable change in the production value of her video. I will fuck you over for that one of these days if it's the last thing I ever do. He even tried to get Thunderfoot fired from his job. Just look at this guy. I mean, he almost looks like a pedophile. I mean, just look. Wait, 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 what? No, no, no way. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I am so done. All I wanted to do was play video games. Yeah.